Hey guys, welcome back to Sad Onion. As always, I'm your host, Vase, and today we are making huevos rancheros. So we're going to start off with making some chicken with a, some braised chicken with some enchilada sauce. Um, and that will go along with our eggs. Uh, so make this overnight. Huevos rancheros is a really good hangover breakfast. I'm a big fan of it. Um, I know it's a little cloudy here. Um, but yeah, I'm a big fan of it, and uh, if you make this the night before, you can just slap this on, and it's a super easy breakfast thing to make, and uh, I don't know, it's just uh, nice and hearty, so we will be back in just a bit. The next step for this is pretty easy. This is going to be the base of our friend Charles Huevos, uh, so we're going to make essentially just a cheese quesadilla, we also call them cheese crisps here, um, so just some pretty basic shredded cheese. You can use whatever type of cheese you want. This is not traditional, but, you know, we don't really always do traditional here on Sad Onion. Uh, usually it's just a fried tortilla, uh, and the cheese is layered on top, but I think this, this will come out better. Um, we're not going to use a whole lot of cheese. I know it looks like a lot of cheese, but this is really just to bind the two together and, and give a little bit of extra, uh, you know, bite. There we go. And then uh, we'll also do some eggs over medium, so that's runny white, not runny yellow. Or, sorry, reverse that. No runny white, runny yellow. And then some sauteed onions and some avocado, which we'll get to. So just put that on and crisp this up. I haven't added any butter or anything like that because we're going to use a lot of butter for the eggs and a lot of butter for the onion. We'll, we'll do the onion after the eggs, and we'll actually do show off the eggs because otherwise it'll be a really quick episode. So yeah, just, you know, press that in. When you start seeing it smoke, just, you know, give it a nice, nice base. And uh, we have our plate ready. And uh, that will be the base. So uh, we'll be right back. So we're gonna do our eggs real quick here. There we go. And make sure, you know, it's nice and hot. And we don't want to break the yolks. There you go. And we just want these to cook fast. We'll actually be doing three, which I think I'll be able to fit three on here. I should be able to fit the third one right there. Gently. Yep, sure can. Just have to make sure we uh, divide this along that. There we go. And be careful because obviously the eggs will be hot. And if you know you break a yolk or two, that's okay. It'll just be nice with the uh, with the overall you know sauce we're making with the the chicken that we're gonna lay over over this. I will wash my hands because I'm bad with chicken yolk. And just let those fry. That's where a lot of the, you know, fat is coming in. There's a lot of a lot of butter in that pan. And I'll give those a flip. There you go. That's better. Hey. And I did break that one, unfortunately. So we'll just flip that again. Yeah, I broke that one. Whoops. We'll still have two that won't be broken. And just finish those to completion. And then we'll do the onions off camera and we'll be back to the plating. So we have our eggs. I'm just going to slowly pour our onions over this nice mixture. There we go. And the coup de gras, which is our chicken, which I will just grab in our ladle, and is behind the camera, so you'll excuse me. And we'll just get a nice 
It's a little bit hardier than typical. Usually it's just an enchilada salsa or salsa here, at least in Southwest America. But I do like my breakfasts a little bit heartier with a little bit more meat. And then we have our avocado pieces. It's a kind of not good avocado that I got, unfortunately. There we go. I will not use the second piece, the third piece. I'll cut off another piece. There we go. A bit larger. And I'll cut off another piece as I get guac all over my hands. People do seem to really like using guacamole when it comes to this. There we go. Just cutting it. I'm partial to just plain avocado. There we go. And uh, we'll be back when it's time to eat, guys. So it came out really well, I think. Looks nice, has plenty of juice and sauce. So happy about that. I will unfortunately need a sharp knife and fork for this. So I'm just gonna go over here and we will cut into this and then we'll talk about it. So I wanna get a bit of everything. It smells great. I've already tasted a bit of the chicken, which it came out amazingly. I'm going to make enchiladas with the rest because there's plenty left. Alright, let's hope that I can just finger this. It's a little drippy, but that's okay. So, here we are. This is literally a bit of everything. The chicken is great. It's actually been cooked twice now. It's like he did it up in the, the crock pot. And it just melts. And the avocado adds a nice bit of balance to it. And that sauce is really good. And then you get the eggs. And you get the yolk. And just pour it all over here. And it all just kind of combines into a nice hearty breakfast meal. So, um, it's breakfast time. So I'm gonna go eat. So uh, try this yourself, super easy, super quick. This may not quite be the traditional thing, but if you're waking up after a hangover, this is what you're gonna want. As always guys, thanks for watching.